All right, y'all, we have one can of pineapple chunks. I drained out most of the juice. And then we also have one can of crushed pineapple. All right, right on in like that. Now I'm taking one bag of frozen strawberries. All right, I've been letting these thaw out a little bit, but that's it. We even give this a little shake, shake, shake. All right, just like so. I'm actually gonna give you a spoon here and flatten this out, all right? So pineapple and strawberries. We left some juice, we took some out. It's all good, all right? Just gonna give this a little mixy mixy. Incorporate the fruits together. This is a quick, easy, simple dessert. I love making this. All right, so we're just gonna make this flat. Perfect, just like that, y'all. Yum, yum in my tum tum. I'm so excited, I just can't hide it. All right, we have this delicious pineapple cake mix. I love this cake mix. I love Even if you just make this cake, like following the directions on the box, it's so good. I love the flavor. All right. Yep, every time, y'all. Every time. Always happens. That's another one of my signature moves. I slap the counter when I taste, and then I, I always put the bag from the cake in, in, in my recipe. I take it out, though, y'all. Don't worry. All right. So we're just going to make this flat like so. Y'all might know where I'm going with this. Flat like so. How, how long have y'all been making dump cakes? I wanna know, like, I feel like I, I didn't, I've never heard of this until I was an adult. Now I love it, but I, I don't know, have these been around for a long time? Or is this like a new, like, internet trend that someone started recently, y'all? Tell me, tell me. All right, now y'all, y'all know what we put on our next, butter squares, all right? So we, we cover in the top with butter. Uh, I use like one to two sticks usually. Just however much covers the top, that's how much I use, all right? And then we're gonna add one more thing on this. Sometimes sometimes I like to make my dump cakes a little fancy, y'all. So that's what we're gonna do today, a little bit fancy. Just a little bit. All right. Do y'all use uh, those, you know those butter square cutters? You know what I'm talking about? It's like silver. You know what I'm talking about, y'all, or no? Okay, we need a little more. I don't know if I should get one, if it's worth it. It's like the silver thing that like, Cuts your butter squares for you. I don't know. Is it worth it, y'all? Do y'all have one, or is this fun? These are big chunks. All right. Yeah, so we're using a stick and a half of butter. I'm just going to make sure it's all covered. That looks great. All right, y'all. Now I also have, uh, I actually have these left over from another recipe, but I have some uh, fresh strawberries. So you know what? I'm just going to put these slices right on top because why not? It's going to be delicious. Right on top of our butter. All right, I'm just getting the rest of these out of my cup. And don't worry, y'all, I saved some for Betty. Betty likes strawberries, too. She does like blueberries more, but she likes strawberries, too. All right, y'all, so simple. We just putting this in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. Y'all are going to love this easy, yummy, fruity dump cake. All right, y'all, here I have the pineapple strawberry dump cake. Uh, remember, we used canned pineapple, frozen strawberries, some fresh strawberries on top, pineapple cake mix, and uh, butter. All right, y'all. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be so good. I'm going to serve some up in my little bowl here. And you know what? I'm going to put a little bit of Cool Whip on top. And uh, I'm going to turn the camera around, y'all. And uh, we're going to try this together. This looks so good. All right, y'all. So before I taste my delicious dessert, I'm going to tell y'all a little story. So uh, I know sometimes I hold my cat so you can see them. So uh, this picture here, uh, this is my cat, Ted. Uh, my cat Ted passed away in December of 2021 um, and I, he was 16, almost 17 years old. He was my baby. He was an orange tabby cat and uh, I loved him so much. So about a, a few weeks after he passed away, my friend sent me this picture. They had a picture of him and had this made um, and they sent a card with it too. So I thought I would read that for y'all. Um, and I just want to let y'all know I might cry. I'm going to try not to, but uh, Ted was my baby. You know, he, he lived in four different states. I got him when he was eight weeks old, and uh, I loved him so much. Um, and we actually got Frankie Fufu's. We knew T Ted was sick. He had kidney disease. Um, so we knew that his time was coming. So we, we thought we wanted to get a little friend for Jeannie. So Frankie Fufu's was coming, and we were hope that, hoping that they were going to meet, but uh, it, it, it didn't end up happening. It was a few weeks off. So... Um, but yeah, my friends, they're kind of funny. They wanted to cheer me up. So when I got this picture, I actually laughed and cried at the same time. But uh, th they wrote me a card, so I wanted to read that to y'all. Um, yeah, I, I want to read y'all the card that uh, my friend sent me. Okay, it says, many thanks. So uh, this card is written from the perspective of Ted. My friends are, are real funny, but dear Kristen and Fred too, I guess. 
I wanted to let you know that I'm doing great. I think about you here and there, but the truth is I'm too busy having fun. My mind drifts to you when things get quiet. That's when I wish I could curl up next to you. Okay, I'll see you now. I'm going to start crying. Um, see, I'm trying to share a little bit of my life, but I love Ted so much. Um, okay, I'm trying, y'all. I want you to know I remember all of the things you did to make sure I was comfortable. I won't go into detail, but wow. And you need to know all the extra time we got to spend together was wonderful. Even when I was staring off into space, wishing for death's sweet embrace, I was still happy to be near you. My friends are funny. Kristen, you know that you were my number one, and Fred, you grew on me. So y'all, I had, I, I had Ted the cat before I met Fred. So much you were my number two. No matter what form I take or dimension I decide to grace, not a day will pass without feeling your infinite kindness and love. And I hope you will always feel my... Sorry, y'all. Um, tell my sister Jeannie I love her and don't think I haven't heard about Frank. He looks a little funny, but you have so much love to give. You need to put it somewhere. I approve. Love always, Ted. P.S. <laughs> I don't want to be the reason you cry, so when you look up and see me on vacation in that picture, it's going to bring you peace. And if you have to cry, there'll be happy tears. You know I love you. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, um, that's Ted. That's the story of Ted. So, I'm going to stop crying now, and we're going to taste our dessert, all right? So, here we have our pineapple strawberry dump cake. Um, I'm going to put a little Cool Whip on it. So I didn't put it on right away because it's still warm and I knew I was going to tell y'all that story. So I'm putting it on at the end, all right? So now I need some dessert because I'm sad. I miss my baby Ted. He was the best cat ever. If y'all ever had a, an orange tabby cat, I don't know. He was real special and uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was hard. But anyway, sorry y'all. I'm babbling now. I'm going to taste this dessert. Mmm. Y'all, the pineapple... And strawberry, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of vacation, so I guess it's suiting because Ted is on a permanent vacation. Uh, y'all have to try this. It's so good. I love y'all.